Hey guys, it's no Two Guy here with another GTA 5 video guys and today in this video we're upgrading the brand new Bravado Half Truck, one of the new military vehicles released with the gun running DLC guys as you see here, it's pretty beautiful. Um, it does look considerably militarized, it kind of looks more of a, what do I say, kind of like a Boxville type thing, an armor Boxville type of vehicle, kind of like a, I don't know, kind of survival-ish military apocalypse type vehicle it is pretty nice so as you see guys we're going to be upgrading in this video and i'll be giving my first impressions and tests towards the end of the video guys so as you see we've got three types of armor plate which isn't bad you got light medium and heavy it's not bad obviously you're going to get heavy guys it might make the vehicle weigh a little bit more but it'll fucking help you considerably against bullets here we go get neon lights liveries See guys, the brand new all like well, brand new DLC vehicles, all of them pretty much have an option to put a livery on them, guys. But as you see, there's tons of them that are locked. I think you also get those by doing research actually from your bunker, which you need to buy. And I usually, you know, since this kind of looks kind of rogue, we're gonna go with a sprayed camo. It looks pretty cool. We'll make this actually a militarized style vehicle. Here we go. We got a livery. Perfect. Lost and theft. Already have. Oh yeah, guys, it can also proxy mines. That means when you honk your horn, guys, it will drop like a kind of claymore mine thing for if any vehicles drive over that. Boom, blow them sky high. It's beautiful. That's what all these vehicles are about, killing online players. It's going to turn online into a war zone, but it's so bloody worth it. It's going to be the expense of the poor people who can't afford them, but it's worth it. No offense to anyone there, guys, who doesn't have too much money in GTA, but... If you want it, you gotta get it. You gotta work for it, guys. So what color would you use? Forest green, didn't we? I think. Where is it? I can't find forest green. Oh, where is it? Is it? There we go. It's because it's, it's not metallic. There we go. So we've got that. For emblem, it goes on the side. Don't want that on. You can sell it for a good price. Turbo. Oh yeah, you get different guns for this thing. That's pretty cool. 20 millimeter auto cannons. Guys, when I actually get those guns, I will actually tell you guys how good they are and I'll do a video on them. Because all the new stuff does need research, guys, so that I don't have everything yet. But I have the majority of stuff, which is beautiful. So this is what it looks like. We'll jump out and give it a little walk around. It, it does look badass, I will admit. It looks really good. Although it's a bit slow with those tracks. How this thing manages to turn, I don't bloody know. Because that's tracks at the back. It shouldn't. But, fair enough. I don't know how it works. So out we go. Exit my MOC. We've got everything. Boom. Oh, here we go. The old truck actually also isn't one of the most expensive. I think it's about 1 point something mil, 1.5-ish mil, guys. So it's not too expensive, to be honest. That's with the discount, now. Here we go. So, guys, first impression, it's a reasonable acceleration. Got a nice, beautiful truck horn. As I see what I mean, it does it. It's not the greatest turner, but I'm sure the tracks, okay, guys, will obviously help it going off-road and going up hills and stuff. So that will be a plus side. So it'll be a half-decent off-road vehicle. It's not the fastest, like, but... It's definitely good looking. It'll definitely scare someone if they're chasing you. But those um, auto cannons on the back, guys, your enemies will definitely get wrecked by those because they're pretty much made for shooting down helicopters and planes and they do a ton of damage. Here we go. So it's pretty good. I honestly quite like it, guys. It's not too shabby. Definitely worth buying for your gun running unless you kind of want to be a savvy spender. Not waste. It's not really a huge waste of money. It's just that it won't be the most useful vehicle in this DLC, guys. So... That was pretty much it for this video, guys. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace out.